Hi, welcome back to Oli Training with TTSL. I'm Rachel. I'm Kelsey. And today we're gonna to talk about your hand position with your Olympic lifts. So one of the things that we have seen um, in the past week with everyone learning their Olympic lifts is um, some adjustments we need with the hand positioning. So we talked about finding your hip crease, but I wanna give you an alternative to finding actually where your hip crease is. So Rachel's gonna start with the bar in her, she's in her snatch grip right now. So if she's in her hip crease, but if she were to bend over and it really went in her hip crease, she, should, she could leave her hands and the bar would still be there. So come back up. If you had it just like a little bit out, of the hip crease, now try and bend over. We lose the bar, right? So she's not in her hip crease yet. So if you're not quite sure where your hips are gonna go, I suggest that you, oh yeah, if she's way too wide, she would just be like crushing her stomach. <laughs> um, so here's my suggestion. If you are just learning to find where your hand positioning is going, grab a something light and put the bar in your hip crease, bend it over, and then straighten your arms and grab the bar. So now you stand up, and that is about where we're going to have our hand positioning for the bar. So do this drill, and your arms are gonna be straight when you grab it, right? And then you stand up, and we find it right there in our hip crease. It's not gonna be below, not above, um, right in our hip crease. And, oh, the knurling's on the bar go. So we didn't talk about this at all. Um, you know, we weren't sure how many people had an Olympic barbell, but you'll notice that there are these little things here on the barbell. Now that is kind of a guide for you. It's a secret guide. We're gonna let you in. <laughs> We're gonna let you in on talk the secret. First rule of the knurlings is you don't talk about the knurling. <laughs> um, so this is kind of a guide, especially for your snatch grip of where your hands are going to. This is going to deviate a little bit from person to person, but if you find where your hand grip is on your first couple of times, put some chalk on it so that you kind of have a guide for the next time you use your bar though. But if you're in a, a global gym, your chalk might be gone by the next time. But see how, so Rachel, when she gets her hands in the position, in her hip crease. Yeah, so see, even she, once she adjusted, moved her hands a little bit out, which is right around where um, where these are on the barbell for her snatch grip. So if you have one of those, kind of use that as somewhat of your guide. And if you notice that maybe you're like a thumbs width out, it will help you remember for the next time. Like here I am, I go up to the bar, I look for my thumb. My thumb is just like outside of these little spaces in the barbell, and then you'll, you'll jog your memory where your hand position should go. I like the chalk idea of that. Or like a little piece of tape or something. Once you find it, especially for beginners, if you can like mark it on your barbell so that that way you don't have to every single thing you want to Yeah, that would be, that would be helpful. 